scouts said wasn't wrong. Now, how to find Stanford. This is what happens to mortals who step out of line. seen a machine like that. A slot for what would appear to be a small card. under their skin. That's not very discreet. Clearance implant required. Mm -mm. Digital security. Clever. This is what happens to mortals who step out of line. That's not very discreet. That's not very discreet. Not for what would appear to be a small card. This implant could be useful. It's a perfect fit. Let's see how it works. <clears throat> there, I've got an implant, but it's blinking. doesn't work on corpses. I can fix that. They don't know everything about us yet. In 
1970, Long Island was a hospital for chronically ill patients. What do they use it for now? The destruction of the Long Island Bridge didn't discourage everyone. The destruction of the Long Island Bridge didn't discourage everyone. A closet. Hmm, disappointing. How strange. Higher clearance required. Restricted access. Interesting. A vaccination campaign from 1988. There must have been more traffic here back then. They haven't been used for years. Closed. These hallways. They converted a hot. Hey! Who are you? You shouldn't be on this floor. Identify yourself immediately, or I'm calling security. It's entirely normal for me to be here. You have nothing to worry about. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a little stressed out. Usually the men in suits stay downstairs. But you seem different. In a good way. Not like those Vatican guys, but I shouldn't say anything. You seem nervous. Is everything all right? Not really. Ever since those nut jobs took over, they've been acting like they run the place. Without a red implant, you can't do anything around here anymore. And I don't think your colleagues appreciate being kept in the dark. Before they came here and changed everything, it was actually pretty simple. What do you mean? Now there are tons more clearance levels. They're really proud of that downstairs. But the truth is, there are tons of errors all the time, and everyone has to update their implants constantly. Is that why mine doesn't work on the closet? Is that the first time it's happened to you? Unbelievable! What do I need to do? Just like everyone else, we're following procedure. question isn't about the protocol, but what you can do to help a colleague in need. Yeah, I get it. I've got a bunch of green implants in the safe in my office. The code is 423. You can take one, but you have to remember to bring it back. Can you remind me how it works? Go to any implant machine. It's really easy. There are instructions if you need them. Thank you. Of course.
room in the morgue. Sticks, me. This base is bigger than I thought. It's not going to be that easy to find Stanford. your weapon and let me through. On your knees, I said! Now! He resisted. How? I have important information to pass on. It's urgent. I have to check. Nobody told me. Not surprising. I have an implant. Let me identify myself. We've already wasted enough time. Get in there. Scan your implant. Right? Yeah. Next time, let me know. That was close. I'll have to be careful. It's much larger than I thought. Damn it! Unbelievable! Fucking implants! Yeah, it's me again. I can't get into anything. I'm telling you, the database is locked. If I keep it up, I'll block the entire system. Sorry, I don't see what else I can do to help you. I'd ask Stanford himself, but he's not on this floor. The archives? You think so? Maybe. I'll take a look. Well, if I could open the door... It'll open in a minute. I hope. I don't understand. laboratory wings. Come on, monster!
an implant database. If it were unlocked, I could locate Stanford. But I would need a red implant to do that. One from the Society of St. Leopold. What do these symbols mean? Please, the door won't open. I thought your test was over. Yeah, but you have to put everything back the way it was. Otherwise, the security blocks everything. I'll take care of it, but I have to finish this first. <laughs> Very practical. That's why we do our tests in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. If you're in a hurry, you can take a look. <sighs> I'll wait. That changed the number that's displayed. That's more like it. All that for nothing. That should work. I'm getting tired. Oh. All that for nothing. something in the archives, but I doubt I will. Oh, is that it? like a converted military base. Left over from the Cold War, most likely. Hurry up, Henry. What part of I need those results wasn't clear? <laughs> a child would understand. Why can't you? The latest results aren't good. All right, that's better. The latest results aren't good. Can't you see that I'm working? Red implant. Maybe the one that I need. The epidermis is already breaking down. I've been working on this for way too long.
wrong implant. Uh, tell me you weren't there for Favarone's meltdown. They only caught the end. Great. She yells at me in front of everyone now. It's her way of motivating the troops. There are less painful techniques. I'd be a lot faster if I didn't have to double as her personal assistant. I'm in the middle of a promising procedure, but I keep getting interrupted. No matter. I'd better stop complaining. You know, your problems won't solve themselves. Things can improve, but you have to talk about it. Favarone is a natural at giving orders, that's for sure. A bit too comfortable. We're not getting anywhere. Things were easier before. And she's not just anyone in the Society of St. Leopold. Henry, if you don't want to be the next body under my scalpel, I need those lab results by tomorrow. I'll be going now. Back to work. Human blood? I thought they only studied us. Notes on cell renewal. It would appear... They are attempting to use our regenerative abilities on humans. They'll never be able to do it. Doesn't look too good. All right, concentrate. Human blood. I thought they only studied us. If Favarone thinks I work better under pressure. 
Easy. Those are ideal to avoid contaminating the experiment environment. What the hell are you doing? I might as well throw that out now. Good job. Go get me this creature's cerebellum from cold storage. Here's the pass and the reference of the member I was working on. And hurry up! Is that what they've got planned for us? These people must be stopped, or we'll all end up here. I can't accept that. I feel that urge, like something is tearing me apart. Right. I need to see you there. All right.
never thought I'd be handling a cerebellum. Cerebellum. You sure took long enough. I can finally get back to work. I need that. What? Oh. Ah! allow me to see Stanford's location. Having the implant in my pocket won't work. just came down. Ah! <sighs> the implant was deactivated. I need to be careful. That's the key to my cover. to now. Wonderful. I can access the database. Stanford. Based on the GPS data, he's not far off. But below me, there's something flashing here. What did I unlock? A draft by Chiara Favaron. A senior, I am very honored by your offer to take over from you, but I am afraid I must decline. Our strategy is flawed. I've already told you that, and I wouldn't want to do any dishonor to your legacy here. <sighs> Chiara Favarone. End of dictation. Interesting. But I'm here for Stanford. It's now or never. There he is! Take him downstairs! Today is September 6th, 2019. This is confession number six, conducted by Father Walter Stanford. I'm being assisted by agents Hawthorne and Beck from SAD. The blank body was apprehended in our laboratory. I imagine you used one of your little magic tricks on the guards at the entrance to get inside. I don't recommend that you attempt that with me. 
I must endure this. Very well. Let's get down to the heart of the matter. Begin by identifying yourself. I won't say a word. You disappoint me. I expected more maturity from an old leech like yourself. We know all about you, Galeb, Suleiman, Parasite. They're all just synonyms. Repeat after me, Suleiman. <laughs> Confite or Deo Omnipotenti. Repeat. Mea culpa. Mea maxima culpa. Bear your guilt until your imminent final death. Bear it, and may the Lord have mercy on you. But let's not waste our time on trivial matters. You're a businessman. After all, time is precious to you, even if you have all eternity at your disposition. What do you want? I ask the questions, you answer. Things will be clearer that way. What did you hope to accomplish by coming here? I won't tell you a thing. You'll learn that I admire courage. But sometimes it comes with a price. Pray. If you still can, Domine la <laughs> Maybe you'll stop your foolishness now. Be that as it may, you managed to find us. How? We have eyes everywhere. Did you really think we wouldn't notice anything? Impressive. Not to mention the fact that you managed to get in here. That's no small feat for a vampire alone. Were there any lost souls that helped you? You'll never make me talk. This could all be so much more pleasant. It's my fault. I must not have made myself clear enough. I take no pleasure in any of this. You're going to need to be more reasonable now. Let's try something else now. A subject that's especially dear to me. I know there's a place where you believe you are in safety. Since you know where we are, don't you think it's only fair that you tell us where you are? I'll tell you where we hide. Where? Let's finish this. Washington Street. A nice location. That could be right. I'm intimately acquainted with Boston, you see. I was born here. That's why it's so important to me that we clean it up. We'll verify this information quickly. Very quickly. I have so many more questions to ask. Let's see what I can find out from you. It 
seems we've caught another who's of greater interest than you. Who? See you soon, Galen.